Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Lego Harry Potter years five through seven for the channel. So guys, in the last episode, we went up to the common rooms and we are now in here trying to get this gold brick. And I think I figured out how to do it. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta keep jumping on these beds until there are some pieces for you to get. And I completely didn't think about this when I first did this. And there we are, that is our 168th gold brick and the first gold brick of this video. So there, as you can see, that is everything for the Gryffindor common room. And that is everything for this entire floor, as you can see right over here with the ghost right here. So now let's get started by going down here, down here. And as you can see, there's the ghost for that area. We got everything in there. Going over here. And then as you can see, there's the ghost for that area. And right back down into here where today we are going to be doing this area up here. So let's get started with this. And there you go. There's all of the totals of the stuff that we need to get. So now let's change to, I guess, Grindelwald because he's got focus. He wants his broom. Let's give this to the knight. And um, I guess there we are. Um, okay, wait, Weasley box. Let's just use Arthur. Okay. Then let's, oh. Then let's for Duck this chest. And I guess there's a character token for a Ron Green shirt. And then let's just do this. Nothing, nothing. And then let's just do this. See, is there anything near? No, not that I can see. Let's push down this, and in the back there, oh, there we are, Dean Thomas, character token. Let's drop down this one. I am not seeing anything here. Let's make that statue fall apart, and that is all the character tokens for this area, actually. Up, oh, dark magic over here is needed. And here we are, let's go up here. And let's build up this little car. Over, and there's the red brick, awesome. So now let's just follow this little stud trail so that we can get a lot of studs. Then where is the little owl? Right over here. Okay, and there we are. Now, I am seeing a little deluminator thing up there. So now, oh, Hogwarts Crest Detector. We have already finished all the levels though, so that isn't really needed. So now let's go over here, let's grab Ron. Let's use his deluminator. Boom. Then let's go over to here. And then let's grab out the deluminator. And then there we are. That will make the student in peril come down. And there we are, student in peril. All these students are really rich. I don't know what is back through that way. But let's go wrap the... Oh, wait, if I wrap this back up, then what will it shoot back down? Wait. Those are just shooting down studs. And then here we are. Any filch broom? Nope, Slytherin. Lots of skeletons, but no filch broom. 
So, hmm, where could the broom for Filch be? Ah, oh, there it is, right there. Now, let's give that to Filch. Thank you. Ah, oh, and there is the gold brick. And now we're at 170 gold bricks. And that is everything for this area. So now let's go into the Great Hole and let's see what is in there. So now let's go see where is the ghost. It's all the way in the back over here. So now what I am seeing over here, one out of three. And then Reducto over here. Ah, student in peril! There we are. And then we've got three character tokens, one red brick and one gold brick to get in this video. So now let's go over to here. There's one. And then the final one, where could that be? Ah, right over in the back over here. Let's grab that and that is the gold brick. There we are. And then, now let's see, can you hit that? So you can't hit the ones in the back over there, but now let's go over here. Let's grab this dark magic thing. And right over here, let's see what is in there. Red brick. And we have gotten no character tokens. But we have gotten everything else. We have all of the other things. So now let's find out where all those character tokens are. So here we are. Now let's go over there. Character stuff. I do not know what that does. And there we are. Let's see, does that do anything? Nope. Um, does hitting these things up there do anything? Oh, wait. Character token for the Bloody Baron. There we are. And then... Nothing again. Okay, let's keep looking. That is not a one out of something for some reason. Um, I am looking real hard here, but I can't seem to find anything. But, so all we need to do is we need to find one character token and then I am very sure that back over in here is where the next character token is. So let's just go get that. There we are, star, potion, hat, moon. No. There we are, and character token for Penelope Clearwater. And then let's see, can we get this? Yep, but nothing. Is there anything for anything? Wait, could these little carrots be something? Nope, hmm. I am looking real hard and I can't seem to find that final character token for this area. Could it be the cereal boxes? Could it be these little fruit dinners? These little fruit thingies? Nope, they just respawn. one. 
Nothing. I feel like it has something to do with these carrots lying on the floor. So I guess we're gonna have to come back here in a bit. So let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, wait. Let's go over here. Oh, could it be these little plates of fruit? Wait, oh, oh, wait, what was that? Oh, it's that one over there, there we are. And that is the Fat Fryer. Awesome. So guys, you just need to hit the plate of fruit that is farthest. Oh, wait, I wanna show you the totals for this area. Um, Let's just go over and show you the ghost. And here we are. And there we are, that's all three, the gold brick, the student apparel, and the red brick. So now let's go over to here. And let's go back over this way. And then let's go over here. And let's go up to the seventh floor, like corridor thingy. So over in here, let's go over here. And here we are. So now immediately right off the bat, I just want to try this. Does that get us anything? Yes, it does. Luna yellow dress. Does it give me anything for building it back up? Nope. Nothing over there. Um, let's go over here. Can't really see over here. There we are. And let's try this. Nope, nothing. Okay. Star potion moon hat. Oh, wait, <laughs> I did it too fast. Star potion moon hat. There we are. And that is a character token for Dirk Cresswell. Are those chandeliers a one out of something? Yeah, two out of four. And then I'm guessing that the other one is on the other side of this area. Yep, the other two are right over here. Three out of four. And four out of four. And that is the character token for Cormac McLaggen. And then here we are, let's go over here. Let's hit this statue with Reducto. And that is the second time that they've used these statues to hold red bricks. One was in the um, last episode, which was the Black Lake, where we went to the Black Lake, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, for studs times 10, we already got that in one of our other videos, though. Okay, let's go over here. And here we are. That is the red brick for uh -huh. Stud Magnet. Now, here we are over here. And then up here. Okay, and here we are. So now, is there anything else? Nope. Okay, let's go over here, I guess. Just gotta check everything. Oh, wait, just hitting them is a two out of four. Wait, so all I gotta do is just hit them? Okay. Bet you that the other two are on this side. Yes, they are. And then the last one is right over back in here. And there you go. There is the character token for Blaze Black Shirt. Now let's go over here. Let's grab Grindelwald Old. And let's use this rib, this like dark magic thingy. 
to get the gold brick for this area. And we are getting so close, guys, to 200 gold bricks. Let's hit that up there, and wait. Let's just go check our totals for this area. Let's see, did we get everything? Oh, we only have one more character token. So I'm guessing that it has something to do with that. Um, is there any more spider webs? Nope. Over here, up here. Ah, oh, you can't hide it in the room of requirement. Nope, not in there either. Where could that final character token be? Maybe it could be in here? Let's see, could it be in there? Nope. Wait, that's something to build up? No, just studs. Okay, over here. Let's go build, let's go pull this up, and down it comes. And I am not seeing anything, like really. I am not. Not seeing anything, okay. Hmm. Let's go check over here and then if not, then I don't know where this thing would be. We got a character token from that. Then... That didn't get us a character token. Character token for Vincent Crab. And that is everything for this area, guys. So now I don't actually know where we have another area left. Because, all oh, right, the classroom, the classrooms. Okay, let's go down into here, over into here. And I actually don't know how to get to the classrooms. I think it's somewhat similar. Oh, and also we also have the Weasley Corridor over there. I think it's somewhat similar to one through four, how we get there. Go over to here. We go down and over to this side. Yep, and here we are. So, so guys, we are going to save this area for the next level or video. So guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. We are getting so close guys. And that's gonna be the end of today's episode. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.